Today, I want to spend a little time and to talk about obsolescence management and how that pertains to OT base. So one of the benefits of having a comprehensive inventory is you're able to plan for your obsolescence, which to be completely honest is more important than some of the other things that you're probably thinking of. The, the likelihood of a cyber attack is so low, right? But the likelihood of having an obsolete device that causes your manufacturing line to go down is much, much higher. So this is one of those use cases that's really tailored to your engineers. Let me show what that looks like. So right now we're looking at um, our inventory for our flat rock facility. I've changed the scope to look at just this one particular facility, right? So when you're thinking of obsolescence, you probably don't want to look at one particular device. You probably want to look at a, a line or a set of devices at a location. So I'll show you how to do that. So we can jump down here into search. And we can jump into our scope and make sure our scope is set for the facility we want to search for. So in this case, I'm gonna use my flat rock facility. Then we'll jump down into properties and we'll look for our life cycle. So in this case, I wanna know devices that are end of life and discontinued. So I'll choose both of these and I'll hit search. So I found 26 devices here. So if I wanna look at one of these devices, let's, let's see what this is. This device is important to my business continuity line. So obviously this is, this is important to us. And here's that device. It is a, um, a com communication card. It's our end of life right here. So you can easily run a report to see these types of devices and be on top of that so you can have some kind of a parts management strategy. All right. <clears throat> Another way to look at this would be, let's just run a report. So reports in OT base are incredibly simple. Anytime you search for something and save it, you can create a report from that. So in this case, let's just look at our obsolete devices. So report is generated. And if you've heard any other videos, you'll hear me say over and over again, all the uh, diagrams are dynamically generated in OT base. So once again, you have your top obsolete vendors your top obsolete types, your top obsolete models, OSs, life cycles, and we're, we've already segmented our data for this flat rock facility. So as you scroll down, you can see all those devices, but you also see a graph here. And if you notice, the graph is going up. And it'll always go up if you're not doing anything to um, decommission and replace those devices. So you can see your progress over time. So if you do nothing at all, the graph will always go up because there will always be um, devices that are coming up and being um, obsolete over time. But you can also scroll down and see the location, the device. You can always click to get more information about any device in OT base, like, like before. Scroll down, you can see, oh, this is an end of life device. And it's not, fortunately, um, business critical. The other thing about this is all reports um, use access, uh, use access control. So if I were to create a report and I send it to another person and they only have access to the data at their facility, the report would change for their view only. So in a nutshell, that is how obsolescence management works in OT base. It's cr incredibly important for your uh, engineering use case to be able to start to plan for your obsolescence instead of just running into it when something goes down. If you have any questions, come see us at the booth or check us out online.